Hello there. It's me, Sean the Reaction Captain, coming at you with another Minecraft video. And today is my Saturday Sheed Showcase. Ha, huh, that was a little difficult to say. Alright, so, what I always recommend is always day, and turn off the weather cycle, because the weather is annoying. So, what we're going to be doing, or what the seed is today, is negative. Two, one, four, three, five, zero, zero, eight, six, four. There you go. That is the seed. Copy this down. Remember what I always do? Coordinates. I always... It's annoying. Then I always... Always day. <laughs> then turn off the weather cycle. Make sure to always turn it to creative, because it's easier that way. And let's create the world. Okay, we have just spawned in our world. And, as you can see, there's a dark oak biome right there. And, I guess we'll check out our first destination, which is going to be this abandoned village. Now, uh, one of the coordinates that I wrote down might bring us back here. You have over here in a nice abandoned village, there's some loot right there. No loot. Loot. No loot. No loot. No loot. No loot. No loot. No loot. And... No loot. So, yeah, it's not a very nice village. But, over here, kind of makes up for it. Right here is a nice little, uh, ruins. And you just have to break these blocks right here. Boom. Uh, you got a luck of the C1, so... Well, you won't get the same exact stuff, but, you know, very treasure. Right? Where? I, I'm not really sure, to be honest. <laughs> so, let's type in the first coordinates, and to do this, you must type slash TP, shift at P, and then you type in the coordinates, and the first ones are 1, 4, 6, 0, then I always recommend typing in 100, but in this case, I'm supposed to type in 102, and 5, 4, 8. So let's see what our first ones is, or are, what it is. We're up on the ground. Okay, I remember this. A very nice... Now, here's what really caught my eye. This looks like it's from a mountain. This doesn't just look, look like one of those randomly generated flowing, floating islands. This looks like it's from a mountain. Oh wow, there's a lot of lag. Okay, so again with the lag. But this does not look like just some normal thing. It looks like it's from a mountain, and it looks natural-ish. So you can build your house in there, whatever you would like. <laughs> yeah, I just needed stuff for the video. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, the next coordinates are 1, 7, 7, 5, 100, like I always recommend, and it's 8, 4, 8. Okay, let's see what this is. I think these first ones are mainly uh, structures because they just look cool. Okay, here we go. An infinite room, come on. Ooh, okay. You get yourself a nice little uh, coral reef. Right, it's pretty big, actually. So, yeah, there's a coral reef. You can get all your stuff from it. So, yeah, coral reef. Pretty nice. And, I just saw this out of the corner of my eye. The coral is growing on this one uh, shipwreck. So yeah, you can get the loot from the shipwreck. And yeah, I got two poisonous potatoes. Uh, blast protection, two and three. Okay. And suspicious stew. Okay. <laughs> That's a little strange. But... Yeah, that's, that's that. It's pretty interesting how the core grew over it. So, I, I guess that was pretty cool. Alright, so, the next coordinates are... 1, 8, 6, 7, 100... <laughs> sorry. 1, 4, 2, 8. And, let's see where this brings us. I think this is a structure. Because these first ones I do know are structures. Come on, 
Load in. Load in. Okay, it's loaded in, and... Yeah, we got some pretty interesting structures. I'm telling you, there is not much. This was actually the best seed that I loaded in. But yeah, you got yourself some pretty nice structure. Pretty interesting. Yeah. Just looking in the water, see if I missed any anything useful. And... Does not look like I did. Alright. Next war and it's... Oh, by the way, there's lava. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter. One, six, two, five. Then the good old 100. And my favorite's about to fall. Um, one, seven, three, seven. There you go. And... Uh, okay. Okay, you get two sea turtles as well. So, yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay, I do remember this. There is a another coral reef over here. You can explore that for yourself. And there's another shipwreck. And let's go down and see if we can find all the loot. And what happens to my night vision? Maybe it's because I shift clicked. Side. But you got your chest right here with the compass and a treasure map. Oh, two treasure maps. Oh no, it's just an unknown. Uh, yep. Actually, there's probably stuff down here. Ooh, there's a loot chest right here. So yeah, get the seed. <laughs> get the loot. Is there anything down here? No. Yeah. So you got yourself another coral reef. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. And, uh, you have these really cool... So, this whole seed is just a big ocean with a bunch of l islands all over it. Like this right here. Might not look like it. This is an island. If you go around, it's an island. All of these structures that I'm showing you are islands. And then I thought these were just really cool how they're... Uh, extreme hills and their islands and it, I just thought it was really cool and I wanted to show you so uh, next coordinates oh yeah and there's a snowy biome over there so we can go check this out real quick you can get some ice and that, the, this time the ice is not for my redstone project if you do want to check that out the link to it will be in the description below uh, plugs uh, so yeah got yourself a little snowy biome over here pretty big actually Interesting structures, and this one's neat because it's just a standalone structure. So, enough uh, bibble babble, you could say. And okay, you got another coral reef, and this one's like stuck. Oh, there it went. So, yeah, a lot of stuff. Okay, it just brought us here. What you that do? It was gonna be like that. Okay, the next coordinates. They are one, zero, one, one. Then the good all. Actually, it's a forty-five. Next, it's a three, three, six, and that's it. And you got oh, from some kelp. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Uh, lag. But here is a shipwreck. You got, I don't think this is the loot chest. It might be. Nope. It's just the junk chest. And over here, somewhere over here, it's the loot chest. It has to be. Okay, well, uh, you can search for it yourself. Actually, since this whole back part's gone, there might not be a loot chest. Alright, you can still look for it, though. You can still look for it. Uh, I cannot find it currently, but you can still look for it. Make sure to drink this for the next one, because we're going to need it. The coordinates. It's a one, a three, a five, and then another one, and then a 42. Yeah. And then a 352. There you go. And... Another uh, shipwreck.
along with a lot of lag. Yeah. You got yourself another shipwreck. And this one is actually a fairly small shipwreck. Uh, you do not get the loot one, or the loot chest. You just get a, a boring little sh uh, back of the shipwreck. So, I guess you could try to break it and see if there's another room. There oh, there is. Oh. I did not know there was another room. I was just like, oh, you can try to break it and see if there's another room. Not actually knowing there was another room. Oh. Well, it doesn't have any chests in it, so sorry. Alright. Now, yeah, these are the these next coordinates are the best ones. If I even wrote them down. Wait, I might not have written them down. Written them down. Well, uh... It's right there. <laughs> So, I guess I won't write down the coordinates for it. But, yes! There is a... Okay, I forgot what it was called, but it was like an underground temple or something like that. Uh, but yeah, you get... You're gonna blast me in the comments. Or actually, tell me in the comments, what was this called again? Oh, Ocean Monument! There we go! Ocean Monument, that's what it was. But yes, you have yourself an Ocean Monument. That's it for this... These coordinates. Actually, let me check something real quick. Oh yeah, these next coordinates were for this. I think. Yeah, they were. Okay. So. Well, I don't need to travel there. Okay. Next coordinates. Flash DB. At P. Uh. Last coordinates, actually, are 590. One hundred and negative three four nine. There you go. And ooh, I got some kelp. I get rid of that. Oh, lot of lag. Okay. Um, you got loot over there. Actually, I for. I should first, uh, explain what this is. This right here is another village with kelp. You got some loot in there. You got... Uh, let's see. Loot. Loot. I think this house has loot. Nope. Oh, wow, this is a really bad village. Uh, only those couple of houses have loot. But yes, it's a cool one, uh, nonetheless. So, uh, you can, early game, you can get a, excuse me, you can get one of these. Yep, a Bruin stand. Get one of them. Hey, dude. I have another. I keep on clicking that instead of E. So, with my inventory all cleared, and... I found my last coordinate. I hope you liked the video. If you did, then make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for every single Saturday for another one of my seed showcases because I'm trying to post a video every day, which means every Saturday I would have to post a video. <laughs> uh, stay here, please. And oh yeah, there's hay bales, so like speedrunners. Hay bales. So, I hope you liked the video. If you did, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. And, yeah. Click the notifications bell. Because you could you need that in order to do it. I'm going to stomp on all this guy's farmland. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. So, I hope you liked the video. If you did, subscribe, like the video, and hit the notification button. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.